It's not working. It's, I think it's recording audio. This, is this not, oh. It's not lit up. <clears throat> this is hardwired, but I don't know about that. So it says recording. Don't look. It's not picking up the owl. It's recording. It's just not picking up the owl. So it's getting audio. So you can finish with the audio, and then we'll get it working. OK, so um, the initial is a review of the minutes that were sent out with the audit committee. And there you go. I don't know what to do. Uh, claims of the reports, uh, we have a few from June uh, because the audit committee being four in June. Uh, specifically, we have we have warrant totals from the different warrants that have been paid out. All the checks that are involved. And, um, biggest ones being uh, capital project from the summer. We had some items from end of May and mid June that are on the exception list. Um, softball tournament, there was no purchase order for uh, PSN Sports. Purchase order was after the purchase. Uh, Capital District YMCA uh, were sort of created later for a program that ran earlier in the year and printing for the budget newsletter. That was on me. Um, <laughs> so that, those are the items. Uh, there was a little confusion there when we say, hey, BOCES, we want you to print and send these. And then they say, oh, we're going to turn around to this private company and have them print it. So then we have to have PO from both. So. Now we know that. Now we'll make sure that well, we follow that. A um, couple other issues were just a couple items on uh, athletics. Nothing significant. The ones from the current year uh, agenda books that were ordered uh, before there was a PO in place. Uh, we needed to rent a baseball field because, of course, ours is getting torn up out here. And there was no purchase sort order of for that. And then one other issue, which is uh, the Cole Writers Institute. There's all this timing issues for that. So nothing significant there. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions if there are any on the warrants or the exceptions. I have a quick question on the exceptions, just because this is my first time kind of looking at all this. Yep. Um, they, the two that seem to happen more often than others were in facilities and in athletics. Is that, I mean, are those people made aware when this happens that? Yes, okay. they are made aware. Okay. Um, it's, yes, they're made aware. Yes, we have spoken about it many times. Uh, facilities has, Facilities used to be a much larger issue under a previous person. It's, there are a couple little things happening right. that we just have to go through and make sure. And some of it is just the timing. I mean, the, yeah, some the of lag it. or the what? Okay. Uh, it, there, there are more, I'll say, emergencies and facilities than anywhere else. So we try to document that as best we can. Sometimes it's accepted, sometimes it's not. Usually if it's accepted, it's on other issues rather than the exception. Can I give an example of a word, though, that's kind of one that I would do because I get that for it every once in a while is let's say I sign up for a conference and I sign up for a conference and I do it and I go, all right, I'm going to go to the Niscus conference, which I have the ability to do, do and I go each year. I sign up and all of a sudden I send Jim an invoice. Well, if I send Jim the invoice, I'm tired of having the PO in place. That's an exception. So, you know, like even one of those little things like, oh, I'm so excited. I want to go to this conference and then I want to do it. So it's not always like this huge thing. It's like this little, Oh, I forgot to do the PO first, even though I, you know, it's, sometimes it's just paperwork structures. Right. Um, so, you know, we try to get those, and sometimes there's emergencies that come up. Even after. Awesome. But, 
Yeah, everybody gets spoken to. <laughs> it's not going to say that maybe I've done that recently. <laughs> maybe it'll show up. But <laughs> um, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it, at some point, or do the exceptions become, I'll just use the word issue for lack of a better one, when it comes to any number of those levels of auditing? Yeah, have in that list there. I mean, either either on a DL takes a look at it at some point, or they're like, so potentially yes, but the current level as far as amounts involved probably don't reach that materiality level. I don't, I don't think we at least in my experience come across any purchases that we wouldn't have made that, that I would deem unauthorized. And more just timing around when things should have been papered over correctly and that didn't happen. And on the athletics ones, those come up a lot because, you know, it's like sectionals, you know, we made the next level of sectional do something and there's a need to spend money and it happens really quickly. I think, In some of those cases. I think the one example was the flowers for the athletics for senior day or something that became a question of is that something the school purchases and that switched from being a school purchase to a booster purchase because it was not yeah, it, was, it was pins right yes. pins and yes. yeah so, so sometimes those exceptions do trigger other right views so of things to figure I, out i feel like that's the only thing that i can recall well that's the only thing that i can recall with we looked at and said, oh, wait, this purchase shouldn't be made, but we're talking I, about I'm a pin, so I don't think we just, I thought we thought, thought it was flowers. Flowers. We, we used, I don't remember flowers. It was I think, I think it was the, it was but the flowers. But it all came up because of the fact that the right. paperwork wasn't there. Right. So it's it's a little Al Capone moment. <laughs> Is that a <laughs> Any other questions about that? So the next item is the current function level status. Uh, um, basically, huh? yeah, okay. there's nothing that's currently over budget when we put in the payroll and conference, which is a good thing. Um, I did, when I was entering this year's budget, try to make sure that I took prior year's results and said, okay, what should it really be here? Totaling up to the number that was approved, of course, but we may have to shift things here, here, and here just to make sure they're proper. Um, so that's good for me to see that it actually worked. Uh, any questions on that? Okay. The May and June school lunch fund reports. Now, we were hopeful in June that we would come in better than we thought. I will say sometimes it's very difficult to work with inherited spreadsheets. And there were a couple glitches in there, and it ends up that we were about 90,000 um, negative at the end of the year between revenue and expenses. We decided, I decided, that we would give back to the Z fund about half of that deficit to make sure they had enough fund balance to continue on, at least this year. It's only technically when they're negative fund balance that you have to cover that. But there's a little difference there. We usually give a little to the Z fund to try to make sure, either make them whole or make them closer. Um, now that that spreadsheet issue has been resolved, we should have better information going forward and we'll have a better view of how things are. The negative version was pretty consistent with where we were. Correct. And did we have that spreadsheet glitch the year before, or meaning that it was way worse than <laughs> No, well, <laughs> that was when someone else was handling their spreadsheet. Okay. Then it goes to a new person, and sometimes there are Okay. Things that needed to be adjusted that weren't adjusted because they weren't in part of that. Okay. So, so I mean, year over year, we're we're, we're fairly consistent. We're yeah, close. Not a very number, but close. And honestly, with our operating.
operating level, we're never going to be to the good. I mean, that's just a given. They, unless you have 35, 40% free and reduced, where you can go to the beat everyone without any payment option, and that's where you break even on that. Um, since we're at 12 or 13%, I honestly hope you never get there, but we, we will make sure that there's money in the job. Okay. Any other questions? The Primeron levels of audits. So there are a couple pieces. There's the actual list of auditors that can potentially come in. Our claims auditor is the very first one, the most frequent. That's essentially every week because it's AP one week, payroll the next, AP two week, so it alternates back and forth. Uh, the and that's just reviewing things to make sure the POs line up with what was sent in to make sure what was built is the same. The external audit with Bum Deal right now, um, they are required to come in once every year to look at things. They do initial testing, 